What's going on guys, Alex7 here. Now, Turtle Beach has sent me something pretty damn crazy, right? We got the Velocity 1 race, as you guys can see here. And we're gonna unbox this bad boy. They've actually sent me a ton more stuff, which I'm not going to unbox everything on this channel. If you do know, I have an aerospace channel called Aerospace Alex. I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. But uh, yeah, so we're going to unbox this. And yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to take a look at. And this is just an unboxing video, guys. I'm going to be making a full uh, review of it later this week because I need to actually disassemble my current rig with the Logitech G Pro on it to now install this to see how it is. And probably play some TD1 on it, make some videos with this wheel. And yeah, pretty damn cool. I mean, the one thing I do care about the most is that screen. So yeah let's take a look and just a quick disclaimer by no means am i a professional driver or a professional sim race driver so this video is going to be from my perspective of a casual racer you know just someone who enjoys playing racing games using this wheel for other uses than you know your regular sim racing games such as i racing forza motorsport i'm going to be playing this on games like test drive unlimited motorfest stuff like that so yeah let's take a look at this unboxing so here we are the turtle beach velocity one race wheel guys this is going to be pretty down crazy to unbox so let's actually go through the sides of the box one by one you got max shift pedals very interesting to see that you got a companion app for the wheel and a modular design so this wheel does actually detach from the hub maybe toe beach will be adding some more stuff in the near future such as you know actual manual shifters i'm very excited to see what they do with that and on the back here let's take a look at what you have so as you guys can see now, if I remember correctly, this is direct drive and it's seven Newton meters. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'll probably put up a little note on the screen somewhere where my fingers are running <laughs> if I'm wrong. But anyways, you've got three pedals here that are load cell. And the price of this, man, it is pretty damn competitive. Now you have a race box as well, which, you know, they call the Velocity 1 control unit. Um, premium grade materials, RGB systems, and this is interchangeable. Now, as you guys can see, you can actually have your own RPM and Speedo here. So for <laughs> TCS, ABS, listen, when Test Drive Alumni Solar Crown comes out, this might be the wheel to be able to have fun cruising on with something like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and, and unbox this. And on the other side, by the way, you guys can see the different setups you can have on there too. So button mapping, uh, the main menu for it. You can also have a full race look for it like that. Um, what does that say? Headset mixer, which again, Turtle Beach did some of their headset. There's a lot to unbox here. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff to unbox for them, but we're gonna start off with a wheel. If you wanna see the other parts they sent me, head over to Aerospace Alex. This week or next week, I should be unboxing them. But anyways, let's get to this. So we got a trusty old knife here, which is actually slightly broken. Safety first, guys. Let's see how we do here. Um, Luckily, it's pretty damn sharp, so I don't need to really press much in. There we go. And at some point, I'm probably going to have to mount this phone because this is going to be one hefty box here, guys. So I'm going to have to do that right now. Give me a second. Okay, so now that I have this set up here really quick, let's unbox this. Like so. One hub, oh, some more stuff I gotta open here. Okay. Must admit, the uh, box looks pretty damn good. So here's the first thing you see when you unbox it, as you guys can see there. Hopefully everything shows up well on screen. Um, so, open from this side. And holy smokes. This now, hopefully, light doesn't really stop you guys from seeing that. It might actually. So, let's so put it on an angle. There is a ton of stuff to look at here. Um, this is just a quick race guide, which is a shit ton of info, to be honest with you. Um, so, you can select your platform, the quick release headset can plug into the wheel, which is the headset I have, I assume so. Um, okay, this is a lot. I might have to, set, to like separate the unboxing and the setup video because I need to take off my uh, other wheel in order to install this one. So we'll put this away for now. And here's the first thing. Nice little tabs here. 
Jesus, yo, the packaging is uh, pretty A1, I'm not gonna lie to you. So it actually tells you everything that's in here. So the wheel is in here, all the cables you need, the power adapter. Let's open this up and take a look at the wheel. I'll put this aside. And here is the wheel, my friends. This is what we're looking at. So it feels pretty good, actually. Nice clicking paddles. Damn. Some ASMR. It also has the clutch. So the Logitech G Pro wheel, and I think other ones have this as well. You'd call this the clutch uh, paddle. So you can use this as indicators. Now you have a scroll wheel here, select, same thing on this side with, could be a viewpoint, so a hat switch here. Again, now this isn't full scroll. This would be like plus one, plus minus. Then the same thing on this side, plus or minus. Some buttons here as well. And yeah, that mag shift is pretty damn good. You also have your quick release on the bottom there. So that's the wheel. I'm gonna put this back in the thing here. Okay, so what's next in the box? So open this up. We got our base here. Quite heavy to be honest with you. Okay. Here is the base of the wheel. Again, it uses a screen which I have to plug in to show you guys what it looks like. But again, button there, also some two buttons there. And yeah, so that's what it looks like. That's the rear end, which I will have to so I'll show you guys like so. Expansion ports, Xbox PC, and your DC power in. So I'll just set this aside. You can hear me breathing under the struggle of how heavy this is. <laughs> Next we have the pedals. So here are the pedals for you guys now. Which I will Damn. And these look pretty good. So accelerator, obviously, brake pedal, which no way I'll be able to push it down holding it midair. And yeah, clutch, so I'll set this down really quick. Okay. Jeez, that is some force you're gonna need. Again, I'm sure it's all adjustable. It all feels pretty nice though. Like really good quality of everything to be honest with you guys. Um, I'll put this aside now as well. And I'll put this back on the table because it should be. Here it is the control panel unit. So, this will attach to your wheel. You guys can see here. So, you have hat switches here. Buttons, dial knobs, which you can set up. Uh, engine start stop there. K drive as well. And whatever you want to set that button. I mean, that's some real professional. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that lights up. So you got some real professional stuff here, man. Also not gonna close with it like that. But damn, they've uh, gone out all out on this wheel. So that's my unboxing. Uh, video again really quick there's not really much else other than that it's just the wires so here's a, again a quick little rundown of everything in detail you got the dynamic load cell there clutch pedal again show you guys that that's what it looks like in its flesh this is the screen, which again, I need to plug into my computer to get this all running, which I have to disassemble my current rig to get this on. 
But in that, it looks like a pretty down good quality kit, guys. Let's set everything aside here. And then for the wheel, I'll show you again really quick. Okay, so now I have everything out, packaged again. You have your three different cables. So depending on where you live, Europe, uh, UK, if I remember correctly, here in Canada, North America, and a lot of other places. Now this would be for attaching this bracket here. You have your cables here with you as well. And again, the pedal set is looking quality, mate. Very, very nice. You guys can see here now, you can adjust these. So if I actually screw this down, you guys can see you can actually change the spring rate and kind of make it a lot uh, stiffer by adjusting that there. And the same thing can be done with this. And of course your load cell pedal, I'm pretty sure will be done via the program. So then there's the actual drive again. I'll plug this all in just so you guys get a quick little glimpse. ASMR for that. And yeah, so that's it guys. Uh, again, if you wanna stay tuned, I'm gonna be playing this wheel with Test Drive Limited 1 part three, I think, or part two of the uh, <laughs> playthrough of Test Drive Unlimited 1. I'm try this wheel out because that game is pretty damn good on direct drive. And yeah, I'll have my review out this weekend. If you want to guys see more information about it, have any questions, leave a like and subscribe for more content. And of course, I'll uh, leave all the information about the wheel in the description below. I'm Alex7. See you guys on the video. I'm out, guys. Peace.